How's it going guys? My name is Krasi and welcome to another FIFA 20 video on my channel. This one is gonna be a bit different guys because in the following minutes I'm gonna make a comparison between FIFA 20 and FIFA 19 guys. We are gonna talk about the differences in gameplay, graphics, new features and so on. Make sure to leave a like if you appreciate this type of content on the channel guys. Can we go over 1000? All will be much much appreciated. You know guys, I played over 4000 matches, maybe even 5000 games on FIFA 19. I played over 100, maybe 200 games on FIFA 20 and Honestly, I can tell you the difference between FIFA 19 and FIFA 20 right now without wasting your time. First of all guys, I wanna talk about the game graphics. Well, everything looks absolutely spectacular in FIFA 20 guys. Player faces, stadiums, the pitch and anything else. The graphics are pure class, but you're not gonna notice a big difference between FIFA 20 and FIFA 19 because also in FIFA 19 the graphics were absolutely amazing guys. That's why there is no huge difference between the graphics in the old and the new version of FIFA guys. However, in FIFA 20 you're gonna see a lot more upgraded player faces. So probably all of your favorite players in real football have realistic faces. With that being said guys, let's focus on the gameplay differences between FIFA 19 and FIFA 20 and the biggest one is the new free kick system and the new penalty kick system in FIFA 20. I love it. Big thanks to EA Sports for adding such an incredible system to use at penalties and free kicks. There is a huge difference between FIFA 19 and FIFA 20. In FIFA 20 guys, it's much more enjoyable, much more fun to take penalties and free kicks. On top of that, it requires more skills to score beautiful goals. So, if you're good at FIFA 20, if you get used to the new system, you're gonna score perfect goals without any problems. On top of that, your goals are gonna be beast goals because we've got top spin, side spin, mix spin and a lot more techniques that you can use in FIFA 20 guys. Now let's talk about skill moves in FIFA 20, I must admit, EA did a great job. They added like 10 maybe even more incredible dribbling tricks, skill moves and so on to FIFA 20. So right now you've got various moves that you can use in one-on-one -on -one situations with defenders, along the wings, against the goalkeeper and so on guys. So I really love the new skill moves and if you get used to all of them, you're gonna perform miracles on the field. On top of that guys, the Iniesta skill is not the most overpowered move anymore. Okay, I must admit that's a great skill to use even in FIFA 20, but do you remember what happened in FIFA 19 guys? You can do Iniesta skill after Iniesta skill, one after another, go past 5, 10 defenders and score goals. It was extremely, extremely overpowered and honestly it was very annoying to watch. Someone do it all the time, non-stop, but in FIFA 20 guys, you cannot do the Iniesta skill, non-stop. You can do it up to two times in a row and then the player won't be able to perform it quickly. Also, in my opinion, passing in FIFA 20 feels better, much more responsive much more faster compared to FIFA 19 for example, in FIFA 19 players needed like 1-2 seconds to take possession, think what to do and afterwards they pass the ball. Well, in FIFA 20 guys you can do pass after pass without wasting time, so I really love the passing in FIFA 20. Now let's talk about shooting in FIFA 20 guys, overall we've got the same techniques of scoring goals in FIFA 20 compared to FIFA 19, but in FIFA 20 guys, we've got new shot animations at power shots, finesse shots and so on. On top of that guys, it requires much more skills to perform timed finishing in FIFA 20 guys, because it's much harder to hit green in FIFA 20 compared to FIFA 19 and thus only pros and players who play the game a lot will be able to hit green and score goals. So, it will increase the skill gap in my opinion in FIFA 20, 
which is a big plus. Well, with that being said guys, it's time to talk about defending in FIFA 20, we've got the Jackie movement, sliding tackles, standing tackles and so on, basically we've got the same defending techniques like in FIFA 19 and unfortunately guys, what I don't like about FIFA 20 is the fact that AI is still part of the game, yes, unfortunately that's a huge problem. Esports promise that they are gonna remove AI from the game, you're gonna control your players by yourself, AI is not gonna help you defend better, but that's not true. In FIFA 20 guys, AI is part of the game, it will help you defend better, maybe it's to your advantage if you don't play the game very often, but for example, I play the game every single day guys, I wanna get better, I wanna dominate my opponents and if AI is part of the game, it will reduce the skill gap. That's a huge problem even in FIFA 20, guys. Overall, I like the defending techniques. I like the new defending animation because eSports added like one or two new defending animations to FIFA 20. But on the other hand, guys, I don't like the fact that AI is still part of the game and even if you're not a good defender, you can easily defend against good players using AI. Regarding the gameplay speed guys, in FIFA 20 the gameplay feels a bit slower compared to FIFA 19, but it doesn't mean that it has huge button delay, no, it doesn't have button delay guys, I'm talking about slower gameplay, but on the other hand the gameplay responsiveness is much better compared to FIFA 19, passing, shooting, crossing, defending and so on. Everything feels really, really good. Overall guys, I like the new FIFA 20 version and honestly, you cannot expect EA Sports to create a completely different game compared to FIFA 19. But anyways, this is gonna be the end of today's FIFA 20 against FIFA 19 comparison video. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on FIFA 20. Let me know in the comment section down below guys, what do you think about FIFA 20? Is the game better than FIFA 19? Is there a big difference between FIFA 19 and FIFA 20? If you wanna add anything else regarding FIFA 20, besides the things that you've already heard in today's video, make sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching and your boy Krasi will catch you later. Bye bye.